Hey guys, so before we start day three of the challenge, I just wanted to remind everybody watching that at the end of the challenge, when we get the transport mammoth, we will be giving it away to one of the subscribers on the channel. So if you would like a chance to win a masterpiece transport mammoth at the end of the month, be sure you are subscribed to the channel and comment down below on each episode to increase your chance of winning the transport mammoth at the end of the month. So we had a busy day yesterday of gathering and I was able to get myself up to tier five. I believe I'm close-ish to being able to get tier six, but without having our, without purchasing our month of premium, we won't quite be able to get the learning points required. So that tier six probably won't happen until we have enough silver for the premium. But as you guys can see with after yesterday's gathering, we were able to obviously get the tier five, which helps with income, and we were able to get a grizzly bear, which should help with being able to mount up and move quicker because the grizzly bear doesn't have a gallop speed it, or a higher movement speed, I should say, when you first get on the mount, so that'll help. Now, I told you guys in the last episode that I would take a look at the Avalonian tools uh, the Avalon and Stonehammer in specific, and from my experience, not, the tier five, tier four is 100% not worth it at all. You will lose so much silver in the repair cost of this tool. Tier five, a little bit better than tier four, but you're still losing about half of all of the profit just in the repair bill, and that's half of your total profit, not just half of the extra like gathering yield. That's half of every single thing you gather is just being lost to repairing the tool. So the 12.5% increase in what you gather definitely doesn't cover the 50% loss. But now that we are tier 5 adventurer, one of the other things that you guys can do to start really increasing your income is make sure that you are faction flagged. As you can see, from my faction flagging yesterday while I was gathering, I was able to make about 6,600 faction points. And each of these faction points is worth, after taxes, about 10 and a half silver when sold on the market. So we're looking at just conservatively about 66,000 silver in faction points just from one day's gathering. And when you consider that all of that is from gathering just like tier two through four materials, that is actually a pretty decent increase in silver per hour at the start. So I'm going to go and I'm gonna do a half hour gathering session because that's about what it takes to break one of these hammers. And I will show you guys where I've been doing my stone gathering and we can go over how much more I'm making now that I'm able to faction flag and along with the tier five gear. And then I want to show you guys in this episode how to start using your silver that you have in excess from the gathering. So we're sitting here at about 3 million and I already have some buy orders running. So I will show you guys that after we go and check out the gathering yield. All right, so now that I actually have decent gathering materials, I moved on from just gathering the tier two outside of, you know, the spawn area. And I graduated down here. If you come all the way down and follow the outside of the map, you can get here in about five minutes or a little bit less if you're on a faster mount. And you can come down here to Saddle Tour, which is a decent ways away from the city. So you're getting a decent faction bonus. And right here, they actually have a rock spawn. So I come up here and very few people actually gather around this rock spawn. So I'll show you some of the people will go through and you'll run into people that are just there like farming the uh, tier four enchanted nodes in order to level up their tier four gathering. But we're not really in interested in the tier four. So I'm going to run over and take a look around and I'll show you guys the couple spots that I enjoy the most. So if you come up here, along this edge you can actually follow this edge and the majority of the rocks that you want to be gathering spawn around these circles so you have a tiny one here this large one here is very good to gather and then this one up here those are where you're going to have the large deposits of the not very large or the lower tier resources i should say so the tier twos and the tier threes as you can see are all over those little rock circles so if you guys are interested in uh, continuing your gathering while you wait for buyers and stuff to fill, definitely uh, faction flag up, grab a pork pie, and you can come down here to this zone and you have a very, very large amount of fairly valuable initial resources that you can gather incredibly quickly. And another tip, I don't, let's see. So if 
sometimes last night when I was gathering, like in this situation, as you can see, I'm not gaining any faction points because the tools in my inventory, you have to have a weapon equipped. So if you didn't bring a weapon with you, you can do what I do and just equip the gathering tool. And now you can see I am back to earning faction points when I gather these materials. So just a weird thing there. I don't know if it's meant to be like that or if it's just because I don't have a weapon out here with me. But if you don't have anything equipped in your weapon slot, just make sure you equip your gathering tool and then you'll be earning faction points. And you can see even these low tier resources, but two faction points there, that's 20 silver. So just that one node gave me 40 silver without having to haul anything, sell anything, just pure profit from the faction points go back to town and redeem. So I'm gonna sit here and we'll use up this pork pie and see how much with tier five after two days I can gain per hour just gathering these very low tier resources. Just about done with half an hour. If you're a little bit more efficient, you could probably do 200,000 every half an hour in just inventory value. But we'll finish up there almost broke one tool and started using the other one and then also so we have 196,000. and then let's go look faction warfare we made i believe we're at 66 so we're at just about 14,000 profit in the faction points so in total what 196,000 so about 210,000 in that half an hour so if you were able to do that consistently back to back you'd be making a little over 400,000 per hour on just tier 5 which is about what I thought you could probably push it to obviously tier 6 tier 7 tier 8 is just going to get more and more profitable but at that point you'd probably be better off just going and uh, trying to find some zone in the red zone that isn't uh, being heavily gathered and just farming the uh tier 6 and 6.1 nodes but we're gonna head back here to town we will get this sold or at least i will show you what i will be selling in martlock and then what we're going to be doing with the rest so i will see you back in town okay i'm back here in martlock obviously the first thing i'm going to do is go and repair our tools i said just 3300 if i was using an avalonian tool this would easily be about 80,000 silver so the you know 70 plus thousand silver extra it takes to repair the Avalonian tool is not at all worth the uh, extra 10 or 20k that you would have get gotten from the gathering yield. So we're gonna come here. The tier fours don't really worry about. Honestly, if you want to maximize profit and you don't care about fame at all, then just don't even bother grabbing the tier fours. Even the enchanted ones, you can see just 12 silver each. But we'll sell the tier fours and then the tier threes. I'm gonna hold on to and we'll go ahead and just hold on to the tier twos as well throw up the tier ones all right now we have three million silver and i'm going to show you guys what i plan on doing what number one is martlock is the largest uh supplier of stone into the game obviously it's the resource it's the area that has stone as the primary resource so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take all of the stone here and I'm not gonna take the backpack just for to save on teleport costs because I don't need it. And I'm gonna ride all of this stone over to Bridgewatch and sell it in Bridgewatch for what will most likely only be about 40,000 silver in extra profit. But one, it'll sell a lot faster. And two, I have stuff that I plan on picking up in Bridgewatch anyway. So obviously I have to unfaction flag and it, this is optional. If you guys don't want to do this, then feel free to just sell this in Martlock and then teleport with your bear over to Bridgewatch. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to run all of these stones over to Bridgewatch and then I will show you guys what I am buying in Bridgewatch and hauling back to Martlock to use my 3 million silver on.
So it took about eight minutes to get to bridge watch. We'll come here. Now again, the reason I'm not getting much more silver for bringing the rocks here, but they will sell for a little bit more silver and they should sell quite a bit faster than in Martlock where you constantly have people gathering. So I think these were worth around 30 each in Martlock and I could probably squeeze, I'll just do 38 each for these. So that's what, about 100,000, 120,000. And these are actually, the tier twos are actually worth quite a bit more. So we can sell these for 44 each. So get a nice 160,000 or so from there. Now ignore the fish for now, that's for a future video. What we came here to grab is the tier three hide. So snag all this, hopefully we can hold it all 118. Now what we're going to do is first off, let's see if it all bought or what happened to the price. As you can see, my price got undercut. I don't really want to clear these orders and place new ones as taxes. So what we're going to do is we'll just bring what we have and fill up the extra. So let's go buy our pork pie so that we can carry 30% more. Bites into a little bit of our profit, you know, 4,000 silver, but... 400,000 in hide, 4,000 silver uh, should make more in the long run, but just being able to transport more at a time. So we'll come here, and I probably can't buy that much more hide. I believe I have some in the order. So we're just going to fill this up to 100%, or as close as we can to 100, without going over too many. So come here, take items, make sure that we're not encumbered. And there we go. So we have all this tier three hide. Now I'm gonna run this back to Martlock and we'll get it refined and see. So I spent about 47,000 per stack after the uh, taxes on the listing fee, obviously. So we'll do just for, uh, for you guys that are following along at home, we have eight stacks plus, 798 times 47. So we spent 413,000 on all of this hide. So we'll keep that number in mind. I'll have that saved on the calculator. And now we have to run all this back to Martlock. I'm not gonna show this part in the video because you guys saw the route. It's just the exact same route, but on the way back. So we'll get this all brought back to Martlock and I'll show you guys what we're gonna do with it. All right, now obviously tier three, not much else we can do other than refine. So we're gonna come in here, we'll see. I might have some tier two left over. If not, we'll just buy it off the market. I do have uh, calculators showing profit, so we don't have any tier two. So just in case you guys want to see, let me pull it up so that you guys can see. Here is all the prices of hide. So we bought it for about 47 and I believe it's slightly profitable to make the hide, but we'll probably just buy the leather. As long as it's below that uh, 30 or so mark, we'll just buy the uh, four stacks or so that we need. So let's go look at leather and yep, yeah, below 30 is fine. So we need one, two, three, four stacks of leather and then about 400 more. So we have the leather purchased. And then obviously just go refine this and let's also add up while we're here. So we have 413,000. We bought these for 29 each plus 413,000. So in total for this leather, we're in about 540,000. So I'm gonna go down to the plot. We'll refine this up and then we'll uh, go see what it'll sell for on the market.
Okay, so that pretty much summarizes what we will be doing here for silver for the rest of the day, trying to get our premium. It should be about four silver tax each, and I just cleared. So we have 540,000, and if we multiply by how much we made, times four, we get roughly our tax plus 540,000. So in total, our total spent is just under 570,000. Now, if we come here, we can sell it in Martlock for 102. So 98.8 per leather. 98.8 times. Well, let's do times 6 plus 949 times 98.8 so after taxes we're getting 685,000 so in that little half hour or so trip with our silver we made 117,000 so not quite up there in uh, gathering profit but a little bit extra on the side I will be looking for better ways to spend our silver time wise since we're on such a time crunch but we will sell all this, and that pretty much summarizes what I'll be using my silver for as an investment. So overall, not too bad for the first couple of days. We have one day left for me to pretty much double the silver account. That way we can have enough for premium, which shouldn't be an issue as long as we uh, spec up our refining a little bit. We obviously want to get higher up in tier 4. So I might have to start looking for places where I can get a hold of cheaper, like 4.2 or something, for example, and or 4.0, start specking this up a little bit so that we can use the focus points tomorrow. But other than that, that pretty much finishes today's video. Again, if you want a chance to win the Mammoth giveaway at the end of the series, make sure that you're subscribed to the channel and like the video. And I will see you guys tomorrow for another video.